YouTube, it's your man, man, Boys Life, coming at you with another video. As you can see in the background, I am leaving Gold's Gym. I just get done working out. Um, didn't get much sleep. Got a few hours, had to hit the gym. And I got to go to H-E-B, well, H-E-B, it's our grocery store here in, in South Texas. And um, yeah, I got to get me my meals to make for uh, um, tonight for lunch. But anyway, what I want to talk to you about is, yes, I said the next video I post is going to be about the um, Jadavian Clowney incident. But first, we are going to talk about the new hiring of DC defensive coordinator, Mike Nolan. Now, Mike Nolan has a nice background. Um, recently, he has been part of the New Orleans Saints linebacking, uh, linebackers coach. Um, and what he's doing over there, um, it's pretty phenomenal with the guys that they got over there. Um, he was part of the early 2000s Ravens defense, defensive coordinator over there. So he has a, um, a rep of putting together um, some good defenses or coordinating for the defense. Um, I like this hire. I really do. I really think he's going to bring a fire, a spark to this, to this um, lackluster defense that only seems to show up against lesser teams. Um, maybe he will help us um, create turnovers, which we have been lacking in the past, I don't know, 15 years, um, forever. Um, it seems like, you know, the, those turnovers are few and far between. Um, you know, the things he did for Ray Lewis and those guys in that linebacking core. Hopefully, he can come and do great things with uh, LVE and Jalen Smith. So, I am excited about this um, this hire. Um, I need to do more research on him. You know, this is just basic information that I'm giving you. Um, once I do a little bit more research on what he has done for certain, for the teams that he has coached, I will get back to you on that. You know, Mike McCarthy did this hire, and I said in my last video, prior to McCarthy, um, um, you know, be, uh, not being hired, but prior to um, him doing what he needs to do, putting the staff together, um, I said, the guys that may not be here are Marinelli, Richard, um, Cal Moore, you know, with, since McCarthy is uh, an offensive guy, um, he is open to keeping Cal Moore on the coaching staff. Um, I'm assuming since we do have um, Nolan that uh, Rod Marinelli is now gone. Um, and um, Chris Richard, you know, probably will be um, either gone or stay as a secondary coach, um, but we'll see. I haven't had any news on that. I haven't seen anything on Chris Richard. And I know a lot of guys want to keep him. Me, I am indifferent about it. I, I really don't give a shit. Um, you know, this, he's supposed to be this uh, big old um, defensive back guru guy. You know, what he did with the Legion of Boom. But it just seems our guys were just getting too many pass interference calls. Our guys weren't getting no takeaways. The only time we got takeaways if the ball was thrown directly to us. Um, Xavier Woods a couple of times. Jordan Lewis is the only one that I feel like that has been um, um, a ball hawk type of guy when he's in. I think he has four interceptions in the two years that he's been here, the three, whatever it is, uh, two years that he's been here. I think the Cowboys only have like four or six takeaways or some bullshit like that. Um, or he had, yeah, I think he, we had four takeaways this season, um, interceptions and, and, um, four or five and Jordan Lewis had two of them. I mean, come on. And Jordan Lewis isn't an every down corner either. So, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully Mike Nolan can do, turn this defense around and get back to the defense of old of what it used to be. Get this defensive line going. Hopefully he's a guy that likes to draft one text or run stopping guy, which we have lacked. And that's what hurts us the most is when you have, um, when you're able to uh, prepare an offense that can splice through our defense up the middle with um, like it's just hot knife going through butter. So I will do more research on uh, Nolan and get back to you with that. And actually in my next video, after I get done shopping for my stuff, is going to be on um, the Jadavian Clowney hit and 
we're going to talk about the uh, hypocrisy of the Eagle fans because I got a couple of things that I want to talk about with Michael Kendricks taking out Romo a few years ago and calling him the Cowboy Killer, the Romo Killer, or whatever it is, and Eagle fans getting all happy, but now Eagle fans want to bitch at Jadavian Clowney. And there's a lot of Eagle fans on YouTube today that are like that. The only one I give props to is um, that has made videos that I've seen is um, Nitro Freak, who said it himself, that it was a football play, dirty play, eh. Um, we've seen Dak, and I'm going to show you some clips here on the next video, um, getting hit in the head and no calls, and he gets up and plays. So, Eagle fans, I'm talking about, uh, I, actually, I'm not going to throw out names right now. I'll throw out names and get that smoke here in a little bit. But I'm out. Peace.